Let me guess. Hiding from the wife. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Size nines, above average for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, buster. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union.
I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss... Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's, We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Size 11s. You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber.
He'll be back in a Just sit tight. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night and I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. You're not being... Okay. What's the... Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The 
tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Can you drive to this one? Carruther said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a sub-sister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. You think his life's worth getting me on the side? Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket No. Touch. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. No. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. That's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, 
She never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her, all right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case... I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps. You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down one round. You trying to stick me down? Guy gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair in love and war. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Do you think those vice boys get any on the side?
Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez, apartment 16. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Carruthers could match the color and brand of the body. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break, and Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there! You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Get in and drive. Slow down. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Jesus, he 
Phelps, you gotta get me closer. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Get the ground, imbeciles. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect, and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. <laughs>